Yo, what's up everybody? Welcome to Cities Skylines. My name is Axon Riff and this is a city builder, believe it or not. <laughs> As you can hint about, you know, by the way, by the name, of course. Today we're gonna be building stuff. Because I am a huge, huge fan of city builders and I don't know. I just really want to play this game. And hopefully you guys like the videos. I'm gonna be like recording a bunch. So there'll be a bunch of videos to watch. But uh, we need to we need to start a city so I can show you guys what's going on. Let's go uh, Shady Strands. Do you want to do that? I haven't really played much. I only played like 30 minutes. But um, we could do it. We could totally do it. We'll do Shady Strands. we got to come up with a cool city name to start off with. Gotta be, gotta be, gotta be cool. How about Hood Hood Puddin'? Hell yeah. I don't know, they just pop into my head. It sounds cool, Hood Puddin'. It sounds weird too, but we're gonna go for it. We're gonna be the, the small quaint town of Hood Puddin', nestled between two rivers. <laughs> <laughs> this game just came out, uh, it was released by Colossal Studios, like that. Published by Paradox. Uh, hello, yes. Can I turn you off? Is there a button to do that? Miscellaneous. Short messages? Yeah. No, yeah, yeah, turn that off. I don't understand. Why is it keep doing that? I mean, it shouldn't be. Hopefully it doesn't keep popping up. That sucks. But anyway, this, this is, uh, this is really cool, right? This is, uh, this is what our, our I guess you call it like a world. This is our world. And we start off with this little dotted box that we can build in. I think this is supposed to be the same size as SimCity 2013. But as you grow, you can purchase up to, I think, nine more squares. Or maybe eight more squares with a total of nine. Something like that. But yeah, other squares are the exact same as this. Anywhere else. That are, well, they have to be adjacent. But uh, yeah. So I think the whole the whole map, or all the maps, are 25 squares. So you can build in, like, nine of those. Unless you, you know, there's probably going to be mods out. Uh, and you can make you build in all 25 if you want. But that's a little crazy. Just, just a little crazy. And, uh, and this looks very interesting. Um, oh, I didn't really want to start right on the, uh, on the river. That's a little crazy. Uh, I kind of wanted a better space like that. That would have been nice. But uh, I guess we'll start here. Uh, and yeah, let's, uh, let's start building some roads. You start, what's really cool about this game is you start off, have to unlock things. Like, um, medium roads are locked. Highways are locked. Uh, hi those are highways. These are even larger roads roads and uh, oh, excuse me roundabouts are locked you have to do uh, to grow your town and then you unlock more and more things so let's start off and if you just build a little road you can unlock all the other ones we'll just bulldoze that bulldoze that and we'll use one ways because this is a highway and the highway is a one way so we'll just go up here and we have little boxes as you can see little uh, lines kind of Sort of like units, I guess. I think that's one, two, three units. Uh, we'll do that. And then we have to get one coming down. Is that straight? That's not straight, is it? Son of a bitch. It needs to be straight. What? What if we do right here? No. Damn it. Whatever. Whatever. Forget about it. Alright, well, we have our roads uh, ready. And let's just start off by uh, making a small little residential area. I really want to, uh, to expand a lot down here, of course, and around. And try and... Uh, I want to get around to the mountains, because that looks really cool to, to build around. So hopefully... We can get there. Let's go. No. There we go. So the little squares around here are what we can uh, zone. These are on either side of the road, but you can't zone any of these. So you have to be careful when you're placing the roads down. That's cool. Let's go with those two, that's fine, and we need some power. 
windmills or wind turbines are always pretty good. I want to make sure you get eight, though. Cool. Connect up our power grid. Should be good. And then we need water. So let's see. Pumping station. You want to pump upstream and release your sewage downstream. Let's go there. And that'll. There's fine. Then we need to connect these up with pipes. That to there. And. There. And then one more. We don't want to overlap too much. Perfect. Perfect. Let me just connect those up. And then connect that up. And that should be. Should be fine. Let's go up to speed three. And let's watch all the people come into Hood Puddin'. Yeah. Look at that. Awesome. Oh, they're coming in a lot. That's good. It's good. Keep going. Okay. I guess we'll also zone this area. Let's delete you. Put that in there. Just make sure we're still getting power. We'll do that. And then we can take off. This and that. There we go. That's good. You should should get power. What? Oh, really? That's not cool. Okay. Um. Oh, shoot. <laughs> Can we... We can't really squeeze it in there. I don't want to... Get rid of that stuff. Shoot. Okay. Huh. Okay. Well, let's take these off. We don't need those there, then. And, oh, we can put it, oh, no, we can't, what, oh, well, shoot, I guess we'll do that for now. Hopefully this guy grows, and it connects, maybe. Come on, buddy, come on, someone, damn it, <laughs> freaking, fracking, power, all right, well, we're starting to get some demand for uh, industrial and commercial, but I don't want to put them over here because they cause pollution and noise, where industrial does, uh, commercial doesn't. I want to put them down here, though. Uh, so let's build a road coming off here. And let's, uh, I don't know, we'll make a, uh, a crazy road. Curved. Do that and... That and straight. Boom! Look at that. Okay. And this and shabam. Let's make sure it's connected up. It should be fine. And water. Uh And that should be fine. <laughs> All right, so we got that covered, and then we need some commercial. Let's do our commercial down here. Should be fine. Just one zone, I think, should be enough. Increase you. All right, so so we got some demand going, and we're doing pretty good. It's working pretty pretty well. Now, what I've noticed, I've been watching a lot of videos. Traffic seems to be a huge, huge problem later on in the game. So we want to make sure that our roads are not too crazy. Are you guys not connected to the power? Really? Oh my goodness. What? Uh, it's so weird. Why is this overlapping, but that's not over there? Oh, wait, wait. This is fine right here. 
We'll connect up to that, and then we can take these off. Alright, so, should be good. Yeah, good, great. Okay. So yeah, yeah traffic be traffic's a huge problem. We don't want to do... We don't want to do too many crazy things. Because as you grow, you're of course going to get more cars on your roads. But uh, we want to make sure and plan for that as good as we can. So I want to leave some space right here. That's why I didn't uh, zone that. So we have uh, space to extend our highway once we unlock those. And we get a tiny bit more demand for industry. Can we extend that here? Not, not very much. Alright, let's go this way. Here we go. We'll do that, and we're going to use this Marque tool and just mark off there. So that should be good. And then we'll increase you to there. Awesome. See, I love this curved road stuff. That's really, really cool. I always tend to build my uh, cities uh, really grid-like. And not, uh, they don't feel natural or organic that much. That's why I like, I like the curves. The curves are nice. And we got just a tiny bit of demand for, for some houses. Let's make another block over here. Nope. Nope, come on. I built this so weird. Shploop. Alright. And then water. Good. So you should grow a bit. And yeah, well it looks it looks pretty good so far. The only thing I'm concerned about is um, we have a really small area to start off with. That's not, we'll have to um, build something over here as well. We, should pro we could probably put the industry over here, but uh, I don't want to do that yet. Right now, this is fine. We'll wait. We'll, we're going to wait until we have more population. Then we'll be able to use the um, highway stuff. We'll make it like a little highway over there. Because these seem like a load of fun. <laughs> uh, what's also really cool about this is you can um, each each one of these people are they're not really real real, but they're real in the game. They're not uh, like calculations or something like that. These people actually have a job. Um, owner of Tor Tony Thompson. He works at uh, neighborhood shop. He's visiting a convenience store, and he lives at the Hickory residence. So each of these people have uh, a job, a house, and like personality kind of thing. What is this? Scooter! Sophie Graham. She works at the convenience store. Oh, works at Goods Unlimited. Way down here. Visiting the convenience store. Lives over there. So that's really cool. It's really... really oh, hey! Congratulations! Little Hamlet reached a population of 440. We unlocked taxes and loans, garbage, healthcare, and education, which gives us the elementary school, medical clinic, and a landfill site. What we want to do is immediately build a landfill site. But we need to place it um, in a spot that can service a large area. So like, or here would be good. We'll do that. That way it services all of this stuff, and it's not too far away. Because I know a lot of people place them over here with industry, or not really over here, but anywhere they have industry and not close enough to uh, your neighborhoods, because these actually are real trucks, well, real in the game. They have to go to each house to pick up the garbage. So if you put it far away, they have to drive really far to get where they need to go. So you don't want to do that. You want to make sure it's close enough to where they don't have to drive very far. Medical clinic. Uh, putting these services down will increase your building levels and overall happiness, which is really good. So we're going to put it somewhere over here. 
Here, we'll put it down here. It's got a good range. The uh, green is how uh, far it affects your population, I believe. Or no, 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 sorry. Green is green is the uh, ambulance. Uh, how far it can get to. Because you see this one way, it doesn't show. Because it's got to go down here. But it reaches pretty darn far. I don't know if we need this over here. I don't know if these guys care about it. We'll just put it down here. Uh, try and... Right there should be good. I don't want to get in front of the road. So that's good. See these guys increased a little... As they get more blue, their level increases. So we put a school down. Like right here. They get happy. And I don't, I don't think that it does anything. Let's see. Uh, happiness. Ah, see, they're turning blue. So that's really good. We want them to be blue. Shut up. I don't care. Oh, hello. Hello. What is this? What? Power. Oh, Jesus. That's not good. Where's our power guy? Right over here. Okay. Can we get another eight? We need eight. Eight's the max you can get with the wind turbines. Turbines. That's always good. You don't want to go for seven. Shoot. We can put it over here. That's a bunch of eights. That would probably be better. We'll do that. See if we can connect it up. There we go. Awesome. And later on we can move that over there. And expand more this direction. Because these guys cause um, noise pollution. And it affects your citizens. They don't like to be near the turbine because it's noisy or scary or whatever so you don't want to put it too close. Same thing for I guess any other power really. Let's see, can we can we move you? How do we select you? Aha. Relocate building or open the budget panel. Relocating it's gonna cost 1200 bucks. Better to do it now, I guess. And then we can get rid of some of these power lines we don't need. This is actually cost maintenance. Let's take you guys out. And just connect that up. Alright, so that's good. It's good. Flowing well. We need more houses. Awesome. Great sign. Hopefully. There we go. Let's go down and then up there. Use the bucket tool, because that's cool. And let's increase these up a bit. And power should be fine. Power flows between buildings, so that's good. This little blue area shows how far the power... Oh, that's not connected, is it? We'll connect that. And you know, I can actually flow it down here. Why? What? Why do you have that power thing? That's not good. Hmm. And we can actually put stuff over here that may be a good idea. Then we can get rid of these power lines that are taking up space. But, uh, I don't want to put houses here. I want to put, like, businesses. Because I feel like, for traffic, commercial works probably better closer to, uh, the highway. And then industry works closer to the highway. And houses should be far out, maybe. I think that would be a good idea. So that way... Trucks trying to go to the industry can have easy access to the highway, as well as goods from commercial guys. And then you can have the residents getting to the commercial without interfering with industry, maybe. I don't know. I'm confused myself. <laughs> That's the fun of this game, though, is figuring stuff out like that. But uh, so far, so good. We need more housing. So that's cool. Uh... Hmm. Huh. I guess we'll expand this direction. Plop one of those there. Make sure it's connected with water. Oh, come on. There we go. 
Alright. Oh, speed three. Okay. So it's a little grid, a little gritty. <laughs> but uh hopefully that'll change, because I like I like this I mean I don't like this, this kind of space I have over here, but I like I like being next to the river because you can put curvy roads and it looks pretty nice. So that'll be cool. So we can put like um kind of like a like a four lane or something curved around here and houses behind it. Kind of I don't know, kind of like a realistic place. <laughs> 